All right, I'm gonna do a quick video here about my setup for Adobe Premiere with the Mac Mini M4, 16 gigabyte memory with a 512 storage. In the bottom here, this is a hub. It's actually a hub for the Mac Mini 1 and 2, and seems to be working. And this hub also have a little, uh, I have a dual enclosure for SSD and M2 SSD. Uh, I use the M2 SSD because it's speed wise to make it a little faster. So you can see here, I can go to the screen, uh, select target, and I use I used that as a cache. So I'll put it in cache folder, click OK, and you can see the start. So we because this is a M1 M2 hub, the speed is not really that much. So it's not bad, but still useful for using as a cache or you can do a video editing. As you can see, I can edit everything except for 8K DCI 60 frames per second uh, per res or 12K. Other than that, everything else still is usable. All right, so other than that, I also bought this little external enclosure. This is a Thunderbolt 4 for a four terabyte video card, uh, I'm sorry, uh, M2 card. In here, I have a two terabyte uh, M2 card. Here is an M4. Um, 12, 4 terabyte, and this is what we call it the video card. So <coughs> here, well, that's, that's where I put all the video footage that I need to edit. Uh, I think for this computer setup, I'm only using it once in a while for video editing, so this should be good enough. So let's say I could use this to do the speed test. You can see the speed is actually pretty fast. And I can edit almost everything. So enough for me to do b writing. Of course, if you want to use more storage, that's great. Let's run uh, Premiere. This is the Premiere 2 2025. There is a project file there that I've just, this is how fast it opened. I just um, opened earlier. This is one we've been using for the PC and doing editing, well, the new project. I don't have this code, I don't have this, file, uh, this plugin yet, so in stock, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now and it tell you where you want to put it. And obviously since I'm going to change everything to um, project auto save, it should be the same place. Preview file should go to the, cost, uh, the E drive, I'm sorry, the uh, cache drive. Uh, so this way we don't have one hard drive running both the video and the cache. Video preview the same place, put in cache. Make sure everything is correct. Uh, capture audio video should be in the same folder and uh, library should be the same folder and motion should be the same folder it's going to open the file i'm going to close this speed test there you go you can see here i also have a usb c monitor a 14 inch is actually a touch screen so i can actually move it around you can see i can move the mouse i can touch there and then scroll through the whole area <laughs> As you can see, there's no prod. This is a 4K uh, video that I put in the on the timeline. Don't my cat, what she wants attention. Uh, you can see here, there is a adjustment layer. There over here with two different video tracks. And over here, I just put this together. It's actually keying enough um, Adobe for now as a test to try to know. And as you can see, I can scroll. We're using the ultra key. <sighs> my cat is bumping my head. My Here's the willow. Um, you can see that I can scroll it, no problem. So with this kind of setup, using this external hard drive enclosure, which is a M4, four terabyte for footage, and this hub, which is a 10 gigabyte transfer speed for cache, 16 gigabyte Mac Mini M4 works really well. I'm very impressed with this, and I previously have a um, PC, 64 gigabyte PC, and doing this on that PC with three separate, I ter one terabyte hard drive, it doesn't still, it does not do this smoothly. So, tell me what I can do with her. I you can see playback and full uh, speed, full frame, 24 frames per second. No issue. 
right, that's about it.